what's up everybody? Tool Talk. I don't even know the number. I'm sure it's in the 30s. Um, we might come up with a different name for Tool Talk. Why? We've had it for so long. Yeah, because I'm starting to see a lot of Tool Talks. Well, were we the first ones to do it? I don't know. Probably not. Well, then okay, Actually, we'll change it Actually, you know who then. was? Um, God, what's that one blog that was around forever but stopped? Toolmonger? Toolmonger, yeah. yeah. Are you sure they did a Tool they Talk? They had Tool Talk, yeah, because I remember when I copied it, I was like, ah, but if you guys think of any other cool names, let us know in the bottom here. <laughs> it's funny, I remember when I copied it, so, yeah. Uh, you copied it? No, you just said that. Oh, <laughs> did I? <laughs> Well, I guess we did copy yeah. it. You know, I like to do tool time, but I'm sure that was bringing yeah, lawsuits. Um, anyways, you guys, welcome to Tool Talk. This Tool Talk is brought to you by Tools in Action and the Power Tool Forum. Yep. Check out the Power Tool Forum. Oh my God. I don't know. I gotta we got that big light. ass lights in here and they're uh, yeah, motion detectors. So. Yeah, one of them I didn't set the detector right. It's above the garage, so it, I need to adjust it. Um, this brought Man, those things are bright. I know. Nice. Tools in Action and the Power Tool Forum, you guys. Um, and big ass lights, I guess. No, nah, it is. Yeah, yep. big ass lights. I love big ass lights. Can't talk enough. Uh, this tool talk, you guys, we're just going to wrap some things up, kind of give you a little intro to the new year. It'll be a short one, let you know what we got going. But before we start, we want to let everybody know who's won something that we haven't even, we just now compiled the emails together today. Yes. So we have you all together today. So this weekend, starting Monday, or wait, today is Monday. Today is Monday. I don't know. When is this video going up? Uh, this might be a midweek tool talk. Okay. It so, doesn't matter. So next week, the, co the companies are going to have your info. So still, you're two, three, four weeks out from getting your stuff. Yes. You know, if you don't like it, you can contact the complaint department. Exactly. At complaints at toolsandaction.com. And the other thing, the people on the Periscope who want their shirts or whatever, you know, we ended up giving away on there. I'll get that stuff out to you this week. Uh, so that again, like Dan said, it's going to still be about two weeks out by the time you actually get delivery and all that. So Yeah, so apologize for that, you guys, yep. but we took some time off. We just, just had to get everything together. We're back to work now. Things are back on track. Mm -hmm. uh, 3D printer. Yes, you guys, we do have a 3D printer. If you watch our Periscope, you will see it a lot on Periscope. It is a Flash Forge Dreamer. Um, and I know some of you were asking about that, asking about the Dremel, all that. We're going to have videos on that coming up about what you know we think. We're going to give you an introduction to 3D printing, just like I started with 3D printing. I was a greenhorn. I didn't know anything, but I've learned a lot now, and we've built the following things. Um, yeah, I got to say, 3D printing, Dan was telling me about it for a long time. He's like, oh, we got to get 3D printing this and that. I was like, yeah, whatever. But after seeing him do it, like he does a lot of periscoping on it, the stuff you can build is just mind-boggling. We built this so car. Cool. It's got wheels that roll. I mean, come on. How cool is that? Built a whistle that works. That's really loud. Uh, I built this stand. This one's kind of broken, but that stand but will cool. hold 20 pounds. It's a scissor jack. All in one print, you guys. And this is a valve cover to a Toyota 22R, I believe, motor. Uh, I'm going to try to build this big engine. And it's pretty cool. I mean, when you see it, it's actually got working pistons in there. I mean, it's... A 3D it's a big printer print. is very cool, and the one that, I don't know, it's just cool. We'll get into that later on, I yeah, guess. Yeah, we're going to have tons of videos on that, too. Um, so, another thing we would like to introduce to the channel is a new brand, you guys. Go ahead. Southwire. We never heard of Southwire before. Uh, we got a pair of their pliers. We just wanted to kind of show you guys if you guys have heard of Southwire. Have you ever heard of Southwire, Tom? No. No? Never? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you used to be in the telecom industry, right? So you you would use, like, client tools? Yeah, always, yeah. Okay. Um, so Southwire, you guys, haven't heard much about them, but they're pretty big. They have a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll show you the pliers here. What do you think of these pliers? Yeah, they seem pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good pliers. Know. You know, they've got good cutters on them, stuff like that, you know. Um, but we really want to start getting you guys' feedback yeah. on that. So Southwire in the bottom. Talk to us. Let us know all about it. Um, upcoming events. Uh, actually, we're working on some upcoming yeah. events. We're not sure what we're doing yet. We'll let you know when we find out more on that. Yeah, videos are going to change, you guys. We are going to put more stats in the video. It's going to be static stats because I know some of you have concerns that, hey, you know, these guys just read off a box, da da da. I'm sorry that we don't, we're not salesmen for the tool companies no. and we, you know, study all their box stats and bring them to you. Like the everything is wonderful, or is that it? Is it Lego? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of tool reviews yeah. out there. You guys know who I'm talking about where everything is awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome, that wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everything is awesome. So yeah. we're not like that, you guys. We're not. Um, we're just consumers like you guys are. Right. And that's all. But we're just however, kind of showing products. We do have sponsors, you guys. We, we do. do have sponsors. Uh, we're going to let you guys know who the sponsors are. And even though we do have sponsors, there is no favoritism towards them. Um, you know, not at all. Not obviously, at all. if you know, China Tool Company comes to us, no name wants to sell cheap Chinese tools on our sites. We're just not no. going to allow that. Um, we do have a uh, vetting process, not vetting, but you know, no, the do. people that do advertise do. with us, we do believe in their products, exactly. most of them. No, because we have people come to us try to give us either junk stuff or say, hey, we'll advertise with you guys if you guys you know show this off and. It's just some of the stuff's junk, and we just say, no, nah, thanks, so we'll take a pass. Yeah, a lot so. of people want us to do their Amazon cheap stuff. We've done a couple. I think I'm Only gonna... reason because some of the stuff we've actually liked and used. Right, but still, know? we're going to shy away from that. Um, but, you know, we got some big majors coming on. Klein is going to be one of our advertisers this year. Um, Milwaukee is one of our advertisers. DeWalt, DeWalt is one of our advertisers. Bosch is one of our advertisers. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple more, isn't there? Yeah, uh, that's all I can think of of a hand, yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe we suck. Yeah, maybe it's... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but we'll let you guys know when we do have an advertiser yeah. on the channel. We just want you guys to know. But Ahead the, of time, yeah. The great so. thing about them sponsoring <laughs> Tools in Action, you guys, is that we're able to bring you this content, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to bring this stuff to you. We're trying to get you a little better content. But like me and Eric were talking earlier, we're going over this nailer. It's like we're not framing. We're not framers. Yeah. You know, we're not going to be able to give you the you know, exact point of view that a framer can give you, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't think there's any other channel out here that's a, a tool expert on everything. No, there's not. You know, I mean, there's some good tool channels out there, you know? There's some good ones. Um, there's also some ones that try to act like they're professionals and maybe not professionals. We're consumers like you guys, the way we look at it. We're showing you stuff. We're giving you our opinion. And you know what it really comes down to? It comes down to the crew. If you go on, obviously, um, Read the comments. You're going to see people who are framers who will chime in on it. You go to the forum, you're going to see people who are framers or maybe in plumbing or something. They'll chime in on it. So that's really what this is, it's just a, a big community. <clears throat> the whole so. purpose of Tools in Action, you guys, is to basically um, enable all of us. Exactly. Okay? As buyers, as consumers. You know, we just want to give you guys the right path you know, but we want also you guys to tell us what the right path is because we don't know mm -hmm. everything. You know, there might be a, a framer out there that's like, you guys are idiots for going over this. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take that con that uh, constructive criticism, you know, and we'll yeah. apply it to the tool and see what we think. Um, no, and it's good. Then you guys get to see the pros and different people's opinion for anyone from DIY guys up to the pros, so. Yeah, we're just trying to make it better, you guys. We're just trying to make it honest, you know, and, uh, you know, the worst thing is I just hate when people, you know, take advertising dollars and then all of a sudden everything is one awesome. Guys. Awesome, yeah, Everything it is, is yeah. awesome. It's like, you know what, you can't do that, you guys. And I know Eric has a favorite brand. I have a favorite brand, you know. Milwaukee is a kick-ass brand. Do I like all their stuff? No. Mm -hmm. My favorite brand is probably DeWalt or Bosch, but do they make everything? No. You know, it just depends on what you get. But every mainstream brand that we do talk about have a lot of good stuff. So can you get that time? Just hit the garage. Um, so and speaking of that, were you done with that or do you know? <clears throat> yeah, no, that's good. Go ahead. Um, the other thing we're doing this year too is because like Dan was saying, this is a community and everything like this, we're going to be giving one tool away every single month on our form. Um, and this month what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this Rockwell. Our fan club's here. Um, yeah, we got a fan club yeah. today, guys. <laughs> Paul, Tom, neighbor yep. Tom's here. So every month we'll be giving away one tool. And this way, this month we're giving away the Rockwell. It's a 20-volt impact wrench. And what's cool about it is we're not picking the winners. The people in the forum are going to be picking the winners right. every single month. Amongst yourselves. Obviously, exactly. if I go in there and I'm like, pick Dan, pick Dan, pick Dan like 10 times, you know, that's going to show amongst the other members and they're going to be like, ah, that guy's never winning. No, exactly. You know? um, exactly. What do we do in a situation like, okay, like if, if they pick Dan this month and next month they pick Dan again, I mean, does it? Yeah, I mean, you know what? Honestly, the people, I know there's a lot of people watch this that are on the forum. You know, what we can do is start a thread on there and see if Yeah, if you people's... won, you can't want it in that year or something. Yeah, or something like that. You know, we'll got to still kind of work out some of the kinks to it, but I agree. Yeah, so cool, you guys. So that's a great way to engage with Tools Connection on the forum to get that kind of uh, free stuff. Why are you like it? It's know, nice, to... Got, it's got... nice got... to have an audience here, guys. <laughs> I know, look, now we got an audience. Now, it's... now we're all nervous because we got an audience. What's up, you guys? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> we got some old. This is great, man. I love it. This yeah. is great. So, uh, like and Johnny Carson stage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, any of you retirees want to come hang out with these guys? <laughs> Bring it on, you know? No, Paul's not retired, actually. Paul is an electrician, local 134, and Tom is retired. IBW. Right. What local were you, Tom? 25. Wow, local 25. So we got two nice. two union members yep. here. Real good, good stuff. All right, you guys, we'll do a quick wrap up on the news. A couple yeah. things we saw: StuartToolGuy.com came out and said, "Hey, something about these cordless nailers coming from Milwaukee." Milwaukee. Um, I guess it was had to do with a comment that Steve Rickman, Richmond, Rick. I can never mm -hmm. say his name right. I feel bad. Richter, yeah, okay. Rickman. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the president, the president of Milwaukee. Shut up, Tom. The president of Milwaukee came on and commented and said something about nailers mm -hmm. in 2016. Now, do we know anything more about it? No. Do I doubt it? No. I definitely mm. think Milwaukee's coming out with nailers. I definitely think that you guys are going to see so much innovation from Milwaukee in 2016, 2017. It's going to be disgusting. Yeah. Yep. I mean, there's Milwaukee is going to dominate. How do I know this? I just read an article that they're hiring like three to five hundred new people at their corporate campus. They are. So product managers, designers, Milwaukee's really going to hit it hard, you guys. They're going to be like everything that Stanley Black and Decker does, they're going to do too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Think outdoor power equipment. The middle of last year, they announced that they're opening a new plant in Mississippi too. Oh, really? So that was, yeah, I think that was in like June of 2015 they announced it. And see, that's so. pretty good that they're bringing jobs to America. Mm -hmm. And we like that a lot. Obviously, DeWalt is doing that now too. Yep. Um, you ever, you ever think about it though? It's like nobody complains that Bosch stuff might be made in Germany. That's like a good thing. It's only if yeah. it's made in China that people get upset. Yeah, that's true. You know? That's well, because they're taking a lot of the economy away. So anyways, those companies are doing good by bringing that to you. But I'm telling you, in 2016, 2017, Milwaukee is going to just knock it out of the park. And I think they already have. They've shown in the last couple of years that they're uh, willing to... You know, put up some good yeah. stuff. Yeah, Ty, so. the other day, the guy at the marina, Ty, mm -hmm. he's like, dude, I got my Ingersoll ran for the shop, but I need something, you know, for more construction stuff. I'm starting to build, you know, working on a restaurant. He's working on his house. Okay. So he's like, what brand would you recommend? I can't believe I said Milwaukee. Why? Because, man, usually I'm like, DeWalt, right away, you know? But, you know, just, he wanted to start out with a, a reciprocating saw. Okay. So, and he's like, I want a really good one. Well, and I the think, best yeah, one the is saw Milwaukee. Saw. Yeah. yeah saw is so, uh, you know, I told him to get in that. And plus, once you're into that lineup, there's just tons of cool stuff mm -hmm. you can get. If you just wanted a drill, I mean, it's even hard to just recommend DeWalt now with the Gen 2. It, it's hard because DeWalt, I don't, I think DeWalt's kind of sleep, sleeping at the wheel, but that's just personal opinion. But whatever, that's a whole for something different. But. Dude, why do you say that? Do you guys think DeWalt's sleeping at the wheel? No. No. Compared to Milwaukee. Well, yeah. Okay, they're not sleeping at the wheel, Milwaukee. Milwaukee just is well, very empowered. You know, Milwaukee is just like, you know, got young people, management, good management, and they're just killing it. You know what I'm saying? DeWalt, they, when they, every time they release something, they kill it. You know? I mean, come on. The Nailers, they're I, awesome. Not, you don't, you, you don't see something I come like out from DeWalt, and then you're like, oh, man, this thing kind of sucks. I like DeWalt. I'm not knocking DeWalt. I'm they're just, just saying, less innovative. It just seemed like... A while back, they were you know coming out with a lot more stuff and kind of being more of a leader. I think where now I don't know if it would be more of a follower. I don't think it's a follower no? because I don't see okay. them following Milwaukee tools. I don't see them coming out with Propex tools. I don't see them coming out with you know. Uh, yeah, no, that's a good point. You know, that's a good point. Okay. I think that it's more Dewalt really engages you know the woodworking crowd, the construction crowd. And the automotive crowd now, right? I mean, they've started to pick up in automotive. Right? Yeah, I mean, they've come out with a lot more hand tools and stuff. So yeah, I get yeah we're so that. boring. These guys are shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey so, guys, we're trying to hold the show over here. I mean, uh, they can't hear what we're saying. <laughs> so, no, they don't have their hearing aids. But... <laughs> we should just leave and put the camera at him and go inside. Um, you guys, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we could talk about about yeah. these brands, you know? Mainstream brands, Makita, Bosch, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Hitachi, Metabo are all good, Yeah. okay? They're all great brands. Um, so we could sit here and argue all day. Someone else could argue all day. It's just personal preference, what you've used, stuff like that. But we'll go over that it's like a later Ford, today. Chevy, and Dodge, you know? Yeah. But here, like, here, DeWalt just killed it with these. Yes. Okay, good point. Very good point. Okay. 
<clears throat> you know, Bosch used to be the leader. Oh, you guys haven't seen I think these Bosch yet. Bosch is still a leader in the, when it comes to well, lasers. Well, Bosch CST was really leaders in the, you know, at Hilti in the laser market. Well, now DeWalt has come out with their new little uh, test and measurement line, the 12 volt. Check this out. Front. Oh, <laughs> sorry, dude. It's in your eyes. What do you guys think of that laser? I love it. I like Panda camera, Eric. Yeah, the green is nice. Watch your eyes, you guys. Uh, it's right there. Maybe you can the see box, in the box. Too. I mean, that green is really nice. Self leveling, 12 volt power. And they have another one, too, that they just came out with that's really nice. It's a 360 degree. Yes, in both green and red, you guys. Yes. Obviously, you're paying a premium for the green. But the green, you can definitely see it. They have detectors, stuff like that. We're going to get into this. This is not for tool time or tool talk. What tool do we talk. call it? Tool talk. How does that go in there? Um, but basically, you guys, if I would put it in, if I would have just had to close it. See? That's what I mean. The wall could build a nicer box. <laughs> You know, right, we'll guys. do this later on. Let's go. Yeah. Did you close it? Yeah, it's pretty much closed. All right. Whatever. It's still it back there. All right, you guys. Let's wrap this up. Uh, on Tools in Action this week, anything new? Mm. If you guys have missed the videos, check out the videos. We got the Mantis Snow Shovel, which Eric liked a lot. Yeah, that was actually very surprising. Um, Gerber multipliers. Um, we went over the new Ego. They got a new uh, self-propelled mower and a new blower, which was nice, too. And yeah. These guys are distracted me over here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, we're ending yeah. it. Tools in action. Check it out. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to go to the Ultimate Tool Bag giveaway. Oh, that is starting. Yeah, we're starting a new one. We don't know what's in it yet. Nope. You know what? Probably a roll air compressor. We'll start with roll air. Hopefully. No, they'll throw one in. You think so? Yeah, roll air. They didn't air. throw one in last time, did they? Because I got to them too late. Oh, gotcha. And they're smart. Okay. Yeah. They're like, we're not going to give it away with like one week left because yeah, then we don't true. get that promotional period. True. So let us know what you guys want in the Ultimate Tool Bag and Break over to the forum. Mm -hmm. Tools in Action. Check it out. Click like. Comment below. Tools in Action. That one kind of sucked. No, that was perfect, dude. You did have the best. That was done. Good. Real good. You have gotten a lot better. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.